a 68 years old a male coming from a peripheral hospital in France. He presents now an NIH score of 22 with uh, left M1 occlusion and uh, left uh, carotid artery occlusion. So probably it's a tandem occlusion. They perform in the peripheral hospital a CT scan showing this occlusion, but they don't, didn't perform a perfusion scan. And now we are at uh, three, nearly three and a half hours after the stroke onset and one half hour after the CT scan performer there. Patient is uh, intubating now because of vomits and confusion. So they evaluated the Glasgow score of uh, 14. We plan to don't repeat the CT scan because we don't want to lose time. So we decide to go straight forward to the procedure. We are catheterizing the left ICA. We are using uh, uh, Neuromax with uh, coaxial catheter, it's a diagnostic catheter, 125 centimeter lens in order to catheterize the, the artery. So we catheterize the right common artery and we will do around in order to, do, uh, to visualize the proximal occlusion. So right now, we will try to go with a coaxial catheter, an intermediate catheter, in order to try to pass the proximal occlusion. For this, we will use a, a Sofia catheter, six French catheter. First, it seems that is a calcified plaque. This is what we have seen even on the CT scan. Now we are performing in an exchange maneuver because uh, we have a microcatheter navigated at the intracranial level and so we exchange the microcatheter with uh, an angioplasty balloon. I'm navigating the uh, angioplasty balloon right now. For the beginning I choose a, a four millimeter balloon because I'm not sure that I can pass with the angioplasty balloon the tight stenosis, and on the other hand, I want to try to perform a, a, a gradual uh, reopening of the tight stenosis. So we are passing through the, the occlusion point now with the angioplasty balloon. So we stay a few seconds with the balloon inflated. You can deflate the balloon. We will perform another dilatation just uh, more proximal. So I will retrie retrieve the, the balloon a bit proximally and uh, I inflate again. So we get around, we now are able to visualize the artery. So after the, an the angioplasty, we were able to go up with an intermediate catheter. We have to change before we started with a six French intermediate catheter and now we have a five. So I will perform the run through the, the intermediate catheter, place it uh, at the intracranial level. So we see the intracranial occlusion. I navigated the microcatheter over the M1 occlusion. Yeah, I am able to see this top part of the MCA. So I will use a 420 Phoenix uh, stand retriever. So now the stand is deployed. So I go ahead with the retrieving of the the stand very, very gently. I retrieve very gently inside the intermediate catheter. And as you can see, the automatic syringe is acting as a second operator aspirating. 
Yeah, I have some cloth here. I aspirate a bit in order to be sure that I don't have fragments uh, within the catheter. We get now the intracranial recanalization. We have a bit of a quite vasospasm in M1, but we don't have to add any uh, treatment. We check it the, the right carotid artery, and actually the right carotid artery is uh, occluded. So now we have to come back on the left side, and we are obliged to put a stent in the left carotid artery. I uh, took a five point uh, five millimeter balloon for 20 millimeter in length, and there's a monorail balloon. Is uh, the angioplasty that we do before stenting. So I'm flatting right now. I put a carotid stent, I will choose a 7, 10 for 40 millimeter. It's the noses. So it seems that the artery is quite permeable now. And I think that we don't need to, to delight farther. This is the run after the carotid stenting. So finally we perform a uh, CT scan control after the procedure because the, the clinical status of the patient at admission and to the lens of the procedure. According to anesthesiologists, we decided to don't uh, wake up this patient. The patient will stay intubated at least to, till tomorrow and then we will perform another CT scan at 24 hours and then we will decide if we can try to extubate them. <laughs>